Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday. We're coming at you with Jaspie's six box NBA playoffs basketball mixer. One spot gets you two teams in this random team break featuring these boxes right here. Big thanks everybody for getting in. So let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. One and a six, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got Joseph Russell down to Joseph Russell. Seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. I said seven, right? Yep, seven. After seven times, the Detroit Pistons down to the Hornets. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. This is what you got. Joseph Russell, Pistons, Boombox with the Jazz. Richard Appleton with the Spurs, George, Nets, Virgilio, Nuggets, Jerry with the Raptors, Richard with the Rockets, Boombox with the Thunder, Drew, you got the Warriors, George, Last Spot Mojo, Orlando Magic, uh, your other Last Spot Mojo, Sixers, Boombox with the Heat, Cavs for Derek, the X-Line, Mavs and Celtics, Dennis with the Kings, Derek Williams with the Pacers, Boombox with the Grizz, Danilo, you have the Knicks, Virgilio with the Wizards, you're a wizard, Virgilio, Danilo with the Hawks. Boombox with my Lakers, my dysfunctional, dysfunctional Lakers. Mark with the Timberwolves. You also have the Timberwolves. Jerry with Pelicans, George, Bulls, Clippers, Suns. Dennis with the Trailblazers, Drew with the Bucks, and Joe Russell. You have the Charlotte Hornets. To alphabetize by team. Feel free to trade if you would like. Wait, what's what's all this? Oh, I... Control Z. That's from a previous break. All right, now it's all the same. There you go. Let's alphabetize by team. Any trade? Drew Kerr saying, I have this year's finals matchup, Warriors, Bucks. I'd want that. That'd be a good finals matchup. Also, these are the boxes that we have here, so keep that in mind before you start trading. We got one, two, three boxes, so half the break is 18-19 draft class. Luka Doncic, et cetera, et cetera, Trey Young. 17-18, two boxes, 17-18, and whoever's in 2012. Who's in 2012 would be Anthony Davis, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Bradley Beal, Damian Lillard, etc., etc., etc. Danilo, you're going to do Hawks Lakers? Boombox is sure. Cool, he says. All right. All right, so Boombox, you're in the hawk spot. And Danilo, you now have my Lakers. All right, anything else? So there you go. You see the T next to the names for trade. Looks like no other trades. All right, well, let's... Close up the trade window and let's print. Let's rip. What's up, Hunter? What's going on? Let's print that out. Let's go. Drew wants this guy. No, not a bother at all, Colton. We did. Is it not uploaded? Did I forget to upload it? 
No, it's uploaded. It's all uploaded, processed and everything. All right, so there's the official printout. Good luck, everyone. Well, the Rockets last night, I thought they were going to win. I didn't put anything on the game, but I just had a f I thought they would, but crazy that they did not. They fell to the shorthanded Warriors. But are, are the Warriors getting their no KD groove back? They were, they were fine without him. So that'll be interesting to see how they navigate the next series without Kevin Durant. Or maybe he'll be back for the next series. I don't know. I think um, DeMarcus Cousins was threatening to come back for the series, for the next series, too. All right. So let's go back in time. 2012. 2012-13 momentum. Let's see what we got. Cards that are glued together. Past. That's what it looks like. And we've got Pablo. I, I do not remember this guy. Pablo P Pagioni? I vaguely remember this guy. That goes to the Knicks. That is numbered to 49 right there. 38 out of 49. 36 out of I can't read anymore. I've lost the ability. Your momentum autographs, Blake Griffin. Oh, man. I know that it's expired, but Clippers, give it a shot. George, give it a shot. Panini may still hook you up. He was a 39-year-old. No, he's Argentinian, I think, but he was 39. <laughs> I have no recollection of this guy. I, I, I remember this guy, though. Oh, I should have used the different pen. Sorry. Then we've got, this is cool, Nikola Vucevic, 28 out of 49, momentous rookies, rookie Nikola Vucevic. There's been some chatter in LA thinking, hey, maybe we should grab this guy. Orlando Magic, that goes to George as well, he's heating up. There's Victor Claver. For the Trailblazers, 122 out of 149. Who wins tomorrow? Portland is at Denver. Who does everyone have in that game? Just straight up. Who do you think is going to win? Dennis Jenkins with the Trailblazers. Momentous rookies, Evan Fournier. Nuggets, speaking of the Nuggets, goes to Virgilio. Logan says Nuggets. Drew says Portland. Wow, nice momentous rookies, Draymond Green. Hunter says Portland. Nice Draymond for Drew Kerr. Rookie Draymond. Nice. And looks like some more base cards right here. Now let's see what's in the Kobe pack. Kobe. 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 Some of these can be autographed too. And numbered on the back. But none here. But those are extra cards for the Lakers. All right, now let's get into 2017-18. Well, we'll start with the one right in front of us right here. Fast break.
Hoopcats is hoping for Portland so you can see Steph Curry versus Seth Curry. That could be interesting. I kind of want to see. I want to see Portland. I feel like they've always been on the cusp of. I've always been on the cusp of uh, of doing something great. I mean, you got this guy, Damian Lillard. It's sad. It's just bummed that Nurkic went down. But I, I'd like to see them advance. I like Jamal Murray too. That's gonna be a good game tomorrow. And Jokic. It's gonna be a good game tomorrow. Okay, let's put it how about this? Portland Nuggets, right? Who has who's the who's the team better equipped to beat the Warriors? Because if one of those teams win, they're gonna go to the Western Conference Final, obviously. So Western Conference Final. So who's best equipped to beat the Warriors? Warriors with maybe a hobbled with maybe a hobbled Kevin Durant. Or maybe a not available Kevin Durant. Sam says Nuggets. Yankees says Nuggets. Drew says Portland. Neither, honestly, says Drew. All right. I feel like I would lean Nuggets. Because of that defense. Yeah, yeah. The Yankees are saying the same thing. Defense, maybe... Maybe a little home court advantage up there in the altitude. You know, maybe they can maybe they can slow the game down enough. But I feel like the individuals I guess you're right. Yeah, Cantor and Jokic both useless cuz against Golden State because of the way they attack the pick and roll. Well, someday that Warriors team is going to get old. <laughs> and there'll be another generation of champions. What do the Rockets do? What's the post-mortem on the Rockets? What do they do? I mean, they were excellent in the regular season. Their defense had improved significantly. You know... But yet they still just haven't found, still haven't found the way to unlock the the Warriors. Lamarcus, Lamarcus Aldridge to one ninety three. There's Danilo. And look at this ish right here. Ish Smith. Fast break autograph for the Pistons. Joseph Russell read that. Everyone's saying trade Chris Paul. Yeah, they got they got to try to find a way to attack that Golden State Warriors a, a, a different way. There's Ricky Rubio at 85. Trade CP3 for Lonzo, says, says Ray. Could be interesting, actually. Lonzo distributing in, in that Rockets offense. Did I miss a numbered card? It's going to happen. What did it look like? If it's like this, they're not numbered. Our, our shipping team will find it. And there you go. We're staying in 1718 status basketball.
I think Lonzo is actually a pretty solid player. He could be. I mean, there's no secret why why Jason Kidd has been attached to the has been attached to the Lakers, right? On that coaching staff because they think that Jason Kidd probably can teach Lonzo a thing or two. Lonzo Ball does have that upside in court vision. Great passer, great assist. Could play great defense like Jason Kidd did. Has to be a slightly better shooter, but I don't know. Maybe Jason Kidd can help someone like uh, Lonzo Ball. Yeah, that's the problem with CP3, Drew. You're right. That that contract is near un, is nigh untradeable. They're stuck, they're kind of stuck for a little bit unless they they got to get lucky with the draft pick or something random like that. You know, they got to get they got to find someone like that. You know. Kids great with young players? Yeah, you know, we were talking about it earlier, Ray. Uh, ben Sandy out of 199. I was like, I don't know, maybe maybe Jason Kidd's head coaching track record is not very great. But, I mean, as an assistant coach, you know, maybe he has a lot more value there. There's Tyler Dorsey to 299. Lakers may not be all in for AD anymore. I mean, unless unless he unless he falls to him in free agency, I don't think they're going to trade for him anymore. I think that ship has sailed. There you go, Jerry West, Gail Goodrich, Wilt Chamberlain. There it is. One of the good old days, one of the good old eras for the Lakers. And there's Henry Ellenson. I feel like the Pistons are doing pretty well so far. Elite Signatures autograph. Another one for Joe Russell. Where's Ka Where do you think Kawhi is going, Ray? You think he stays with the Toronto Raptors? You think he rebuffs the, the Lakers offer and goes across the hall to the Clippers? Oh, that would make me sad. I don't know. Lakers are so dysfunctional. Like, if you're a free agent, would you want to go there? This is this is like the Raiders towards the tail end of when you know poor Al Davis was senile. Al Davis, not a lot of uh, not a lot of players wanted to go to that franchise. All right, this is the blaster edition, then we'll do retail edition, then we'll close out with this Donner's Optic Basketball. Good luck, everybody. Ray says, if the Raptors lose tomorrow, he will leave, I believe, to Los Angeles Clippers. Dang. Why? Why? Uh, which magic card? Magic Johnson? Was there a Magic Johnson card in there? Yeah, you do. That's a, that's a status quo insert, so it's not a veteran common. So yeah, I would go to you. Yeah, yeah. If you're Kawhi and you got it, yeah. This is Michael Bridges?
Freshman Phenoms, Kevin Huter. And there's Michael Bridges. Sensational swatches for the Suns. That goes to uh, George in Phoenix. Al Farouk Aminu. I think these parallels might be exclusive to this blaster box. And Kyrie with LeBron. I take Kyrie with LeBron. Kyrie, LeBron, and the youngsters. Can the can the Lakers max two players? I forget. My Kyrie, LeBron, Jimmy Butler, young guys. And I think Julius Randle can opt out. Opt out, Julius Randle. Come back home to the Lakers. I take Julius Randle back. I take Brooke Lopez back, too. I should have gotten rid of Brooke Lopez. All right. Retail box. 2018-19 Panini Prism Basketball. Then we'll close out with 18-19 Panini Donner's Optic Basketball. And then whatever else is after this. Black Gold Football. Can Kyrie, Lonzo, and LeBron all play together? Sure. And Butler. There's enough basketballs. Absolutely. Lonzo, natural distributor of the ball. Excellent court vision. Very good passer. You know? He'll play the one. Kyrie plays two. Can Jimmy Butler play three? No, that's where LeBron would be. Where would... Yeah, we wouldn't have room. Um... No, there's not enough basketballs. Kyrie goes to LA with LeBron. LA gets gets first pick, traded for AD. Butler comes in. No, uh, man, NBA the NBA universe would melt down if the Lakers got the first pick in the lottery. There, it would definitely this it would definitely be calls of it's rigged. I don't think the Lakers are going to be interested in trading assets for players anymore. I think they're just going to wait for whoever whoever happens to appear in free agency and then go go for it. Yeah, I mean, if they got the first pick, uh, if they got the first, I don't think that's going to happen. But if they got the first pick, I think they would keep it for Zion. Yeah, you may as well. You know. There's Landry Shamit. I think what's happening is that is that the Lakers initially thought, all right, let's get Magic Johnson here. Let's get LeBron here. Let's get Rob Palinka and the staff and blah, blah, blah. And then... Just because of Lakers entitlement, you know, I think they thought, oh, and then we'll get, uh, then we'll get this guy, then we'll get this guy. There's Kenny Smith, nice, that's cool. Kenny the Jet Smith for the Rockets, Richard Appleton with that. So I think the Lakers thought that it, that all these pieces would just fall into place, and then LeBron wouldn't get hurt, and then all of a sudden, you know, six fifth sixth seed, and then be competitive in the playoffs, and then get another free agent. And then, and then you know, LeBron goes LeBron, and then championship. <laughs> but I don't know if that plan's working, or it hasn't worked. I don't think that plan's going to work. So why mortgage future for LeBron? I like LeBron, but I just don't think the Lakers are the right team for him. Vice versa. We're not right for him. He's not right for us right now. He's not the hero we... Deserve, but he's the hero. We, whatever thing it was in Batman. Nice Anthony Simons emergent green. Yeah, 
Miles Bridges this time, green. I think greens are exclusive to the retail. And Marvin Bagley the third, silver, nice. And Stanley Johnson to 42. Nice Marvin Bagley, third. For the Kings have been exciting last season. Dennis Jenkins with the Kings. Kings, Hawks, Nets. I think those are like three up and coming teams that could be really interesting in a few in a few seasons. You know, and then, you know, at that point teams like the Warriors could be got as they get older. All right. Last box. Good luck everybody. Mavs, too. All right, Luka Doncic, this guy, plus a healthy Kristaps Porzingis. Ooh. Another draft and a, and a free agent or two. All of a sudden, I mean, Luka, wait, who else are they? Luka Doncic. And uh, Christoph Porzingis, did they get anyone, anyone else? No, they moved DeAndre Jordan and Dennis Smith. Oh, yeah, they lost Dennis Smith Jr. Oh, well, whatever. Just those two alone, healthy. And Porzingis has issues, but if they could get a team around those two and you get a year or two where, where Porzingis is, is, uh, is absolutely healthy for the entire season and playoffs, ooh. I mean, Luka Doncic already looks like he's like a six, seven-year veteran. Like, like he's prime. He's only he's a he's young, super, super young. He's a kid. Get him, Porzingis together. Right, actually, Jimmy Butler on that team could be very interesting too. Garrett Kerr is hoping Jalen Brunson pans out. How Kemba on that team? That could be interesting, Sam. I think this offseason is going to be, for basketball, is going to be extremely interesting. From the lottery in about a week or so, in a lottery, and then just free agency, trades, all that sort of stuff. See how like the the young players develop. It's gonna be very exciting. A lot a lot of movement. I think is gonna be happening. Zach Levine to ninety nine. Anthony Simon Silver. We'll save one of those too. Willie Colley Stein, Pink Velocity to 79. There's Kemba Walker. He was he heard us talking about him. His ears were burning. Drew Kerr saying you got you need more you would need more shooters on that team though. True. Yeah. Luca is essentially the point. Uh the point like he's like LeBron in the way that you gotta surround him with three and D sort of guys. Zojiano Obi to 149. Let's see how Mo Wagner does with the Lakers. Mo, Va Mo, you got to work on that autograph, my friend. I'm going to go and drive up to the Lakers El Segundo practice facility, which is about 15 minutes north of me here 
at Jaspies from Jaspies. Talk to this kid. That goes to the Lakers. Danilo with the Lakers. Got the Lakers in a trade. And I think that's that, folks. Devin Booker to 149. Jalen Brown, Rudy Gay. Carl Anthony Towns to 199. And that, my friends, there's Steve Nash, who's doing UEFA Champions League pre, half, and post on TNT for soccer fans. <laughs> All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was our six box NBA playoffs basketball mixer. Some good basketball chatter there. Thanks, everybody, for getting into it. Jaspies, casebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break.